Why did you personally decide that now was the right time to leave Holby? So I joined Holby and I suppose like everyone who who gets hired, um, you're on like a six month contract or a 12 month contract and um, if you're if they like you and they think your character is working, you're asked to stay. So that was very nice to be asked to, to stay for, um, for, they actually signed me up for another 12 month contract. So I was, um, that was going to be two years. But I'd already, you know, I'd all, always planned that. Uh, I think for me, I think um, a show like Holby is, is absolutely fantastic and I've learned a huge amount and I've loved it. I've loved every minute of it and it's just been a, just a great, practically first job for me in the acting world. Um, so I feel very pri privileged and, and honoured and, and pleased to have been given the job in the first place. But I think all good things must come to an end. And I think for me in my career, I like to keep moving, uh, meeting new people and being in new places. Um, you know, Holby does film in one studio, basically. Um, and having done that full scene, which was outside, it just made me realise how fun it is to be on location and, and how great it is to be travelling around and being in different places. So, um, yeah, I'd al I always plan two years is enough, um, you know, and say my fond farewells and say thank you very much for having me and move on to, to other things. We know you've got some exciting things coming up, an album particularly. Uh, what can you tell us about that? It's called Change of Heart. Yeah, so um, coming up, uh, obviously I'm, I'm leaving the show and um, I am releasing my debut solo album, Change of Heart, um, which is coming out April the 20th. Um, and I'm uh, in encouraging people to go on the Pledge website, it's pledgemusic.com forward slash Jules Knight. And there, I've sort of, I've done this album in a way where I want fans to um, really become involved with the album making process um, and I feel like sometimes when you release an album, you know, I was in a group called Blake before, we released four albums with Blake, um, sometimes when you release an album there's this uh, sort of disconnect between the fans, the people who are actually spending their hard earned money buying the album, buying the product um, and, and you, and you go on TV and you, you do radio interviews and you do PR stuff but in a way you have no contact with the people who you are making the album for. Um, so pledge music is a way of just connecting with people um, in return for sort of behind the scenes videos, um, video diaries and photos of the whole album making process. Something in your eyes makes me want to lose myself, makes me want to lose myself in your heart. But it is a sort of mixture. There are a couple of uh, musical theatre numbers on there. Um, one from Blood Brothers, one from Les Mis. And that's the more kind of quasi-operatic type, type sound, the musical theatre sound. Um, but then there are some really poppy, sort of light songs, really beautiful songs, one by Peter Gabriel, Billy Joel. Um, and I've co-written a couple of songs as well. And one of them has a sort of country vibe to it. Um, so it's a real mixture, but it's an album for people who love music and who have a wide taste in music and people who like the voice and, and singing. We recorded with the London Symphony Orchestra, um, really lucky to be able to do that. So there's some orchestral vibes on it as well. And we recorded with um, drummers and guitarists from Pink Floyd and, and people who played for um, Kate Bush and Wuthering Heights and stuff like that. So there is a real mixture of, uh, of stuff and uh, I think people will, will really like it. You worked with Gary Barlow on the album, I understand. Yeah, so I met Gary Barlow um, about seven or eight years ago. He um, he popped his head round the door when I was actually in the middle of recording a song when I was in uh, Blake, the uh, the vocal group Blake, and uh, we started chatting. And he actually um, he started talking about this song that he had, and um, and he said, well, you know. I was going to do it for Catherine, I was going to give it to Catherine Jenkins, but we went over to Prague and we recorded the orchestra, the Prague Philharmonic, and I went out for lunch and uh, he said I had a few too many beers and when I came back we recorded it in the wrong key. So I gave it to Catherine and Catherine sort of said, well, it's, it's not really going to work because it's in the wrong key. He said, well, you know, maybe you could do it. And at the time I said, great, let's do it, but I couldn't persuade the other boys in the group to do it. They didn't want to do it for some reason, they didn't think it was right for the album. So I sort of forgot about this and then a few years later, um, just recently, I, I looked at this email and I thought, actually, what about this? And we played the song 
Um, and it's a fantastic song. Um, words by Tim Rice, who I also know. And so we've been talking to Tim, and Tim encouraged us to, to do the song. So it's, it's a really, really good pop song. Before Holby, I was in, uh, in a vocal group for six years. So singing has, has been really important to me, and it's part of who I am. Um, and two years of not singing, or maybe like Neve and I singing on set, um, yeah, just made me think, you know what, I think now is the right time to do this solo album that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, and I thought, you know, if I have something good to offer, then I should do it. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with what we've come up with. I think people are going to really like it. Can you give us a burst of anything now? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs>